Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here with lesson number five, learning how to use the Raspberry Pi microcontroller. And if you've been through the first four lessons, you know that we've been, you know, first of all, in lesson one, we showed you where to order your stuff, how to get the gear together that you need in order to follow along with me on these lessons. If you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. <clears throat> lesson number two, we showed you how to download the operating system, install the operating system, and get the Pi where you've actually got it booted up. We also showed you in lesson number two how you could go in and back up your SD card. Lesson number Number three, we showed you how to kind of start finding your way around navigating around the uh, file and folder system on uh, Linux on the Raspberry Pi. Lesson number four, we showed you how to create a text file, how to edit a text file. And what we're going to do today in lesson number five is <clears throat> we're going to talk about something I should probably should have talked about this earlier because uh, as I teach high school students, I see it's a really common mistake that they make. And, and what I want to talk to you about is how to name your files and name your folders. Uh, Windows is very very forgiving. Some people might call Microsoft Windows very sloppy, very inefficient. People have said worse things about Microsoft Windows than that. But basically, if you're using <clears throat> Microsoft Windows, you start developing really bad habits as far as naming your files. And when you start getting into Linux, how you name your files really sort of matters. And so the one thing that I want to really emphasize <clears throat> about naming files in Linux is don't use spaces in your file names. Don't use spaces in your file names. Like in Windows, you just sort of sometimes people start almost typing a paragraph for a folder name or for a file name. Don't do that. You want it to be descriptive. And basically, there are <clears throat> three different ways that would kind of be acceptable to enter a file name or to create a file name or a folder name in, uh, uh, in Linux. I think these are kind of standard ways of doing it. First of all, <clears throat> remember that the file names in Linux are case sensitive. And so you need to keep track of your capitalization. So let's come in. <clears throat> Hopefully you've been following along with me. Uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm going to uh, go to my main folder. So I'm going to say change directory. I'm going to go slash home slash pi. <clears throat> now if I do a uh, pwd, you can see that I'm in the root, in the home folder, in the pi folder. If I do an ls, you can see that I have desktop, which sort of comes with the system, and Python games. Stay out of Python games. We're learning Linux. We are not playing games, not on my watch. In fact, I think you should just go in and delete. Well, no, you don't have to delete it, but just stay out of it. Okay. And then we have the folder that we created, which was my files. How do we create something like that? Well, we do an mkdir. All right. And we can create a directory with mkdir. We learned that last time, so we don't have to do, do that again. If I change directory to my <coughs> files, I don't have to use the leading. Yeah, I don't have to use the leading slash because I am already down in here. And then if I look ls at my files, you can see that I've created two files, cats.txt and my dogs.txt. Okay. So <clears throat> let's say that we were going to create another file. Uh, so we're going to do, we're already in the folder and we're going to put the file in this folder so we don't have to get it a path, but we're going to say nano and now just a file name because it's going to go in the existing folder. <clears throat> uh, Let's say we were going to do my friends, my friends.txt. No, no, no. Do not create file names or folder names or anything else with <clears throat> spaces. So, how do we handle it to make it both descriptive and readable? Well, my friends. Dot txt. That's readable, but you don't want to put spaces in there. So this is method number one. You say my friends dot txt. You use an underscore. And where you would normally put a space, you put an underscore. So my friends dot txt. So let's do that. Who are my friends? Well, my friend is Bill Miller. My friend is Sam Miller. It's funny, they're both uh, like PhD astrophysicists, crazy smart type of people, both Dr. Miller and Dr. Miller. However, they're not related to each other. Okay. And then let's say I have a friend named Ron Jones. 
<clears throat> and then I have a friend uh, named Jerry Thompson. Okay, those are three of my friends. How do I save it? I do a control O and that says what do you want to save it to? Well, it's the same file I created, myfriends.txt. And then I want to control exit out of there. Now let's look at it. Cat my friends friends.txt. Now since I'm still in the same folder with the file, I just give it the file name. I don't have to give it the path name. Ooh, what did I do wrong? Cat my what did I do wrong? friends.txt There it is. Okay, I must have misspelled something. What did I misspell? Oh, TST. Okay, TXT. Got to got to spell things correctly. All right. So now if I do an ls, I've got three files, cats, my dogs, and my friends. Notice here how I did my underscore dogs, my underscore friends. That's a good way of doing it. There's different ways of doing it, but just pick one and sort of stick with it. Another way you could do it would be, let's, uh, let's get rid of that. So I would say remove rm. I'm already in that folder, so I don't have to get a, give it a path name. I'm going to give it a path name. I'm going to start at the top. So I'm going to say rm, go to root, go to home, Go to Pi, go to my uh, underscore files, and then go to my underscore friends.txt. I'm going to remove it. Now, if I do an ls, you can see I just got rid of all my friends. I just off my friends, okay? Now, here's another way <coughs> that you can do a good file name. So we're going to do nano again to create the file we're going to put it in this folder so we don't have to give it a path name all the way back okay we're going to go like we're just going to go from the existing folder so i just give it a file name and so this time i'm going to say my friends <coughs> this is called bumpy text or bumpy font and that is the first letter of the new words you put a capital so you can see my friends and that capital f sort of makes it readable dot t x t Okay, so we have Sam Miller, we have Bill <coughs> Miller, we have uh, we have uh, Jerry Thompson, and we have Ron Jones. Okay, so how do we save it? We say Control O to write out. Yes, we hit Enter, and then Control X, and then we do an LS, and look at that. It's still readable, my friends, but the way we, we sort of made it readable was to capitalize the first letter of each word after the first word. So my friends, this is called bumpy text. Let's remove that. So we're still in the folder, so I don't have to give it a path. Just remove my friends.txt. Okay, ls, and it is gone. Okay, one final way that you can do it, I think any one of these three works. Pick one because then you can kind of stick with it. So this this is this is a pretty good one here. So we're going to say uh, nano and do it this way. My dash friends. Okay. Dot txt. Okay. My friends are. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to say Doctor Sam Miller. Doctor William F Miller. In fact, yeah. Samuel L. Miller, Dr. William, and then Ron Jones. He's not a doctor, he's just a master's level guy. And then we have Jerry Thompson. Okay, how do I save it? Control O to save. And then we see here file name to write myfriends.txt. Yes. So I just click enter, and then how do I get out? Control X to get out of there. Now let's look at it. Cat <coughs> my dash friends dot t x t. Okay, and there they are. So this is a quick lesson, but really in naming files and in naming folders, when you name a folder and you name a file, no spaces. In fact, if you start naming things with spaces, sometimes it's hard to get rid of them or it's hard to fool around with them. So no spaces in your folder names, 
no spaces in your directory names, no spaces in your file names. Okay, so this has been a quick lesson, but I think it is important because you got to get out of your your bad habits in naming files. Paul McWhorter, toptechboy.com. If you like this, think about giving us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel or sharing with other people. See you up next in lesson six.